these Android TVs are basically just super large smartphones and the bigger you go the further away you can move the thing you can also go for a beamer but these are still quite expensive especially 4k beamers and 4k is for sure recommended just to include this vr is also a solution but the thing that you can do right now is getting yourself a big tv that's the best thing in my opinion that you can do for like the least amount of money Initiating. welcome back welcome back to my daily grind create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night no time to lose one day one step in the right direction i'm chris and i'm only here to show you if i can do it you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday in our day and our chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is how to reduce your eye strain by simply getting a huge monitor. So let's get it. By the way, all the life improvement vlogs right here. Damn, I'm rusty. I, I have no idea about my playlist. Watch them all, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So the premise of this video is to get the object that you're looking at as far away from you as possible. I noticed this basically every time when I watch a movie on my laptop, even though when it's like a meter away or something like that, my eyes will start to hurt. When the movie is over, I'm like, oh my goodness, that can't be healthy. So focusing on a non-moving object over a prolonged period of time is not good. And this gets even worse when you're staring at your phone, watching the same movie on your phone. Like this is completely bonkers. This is... No, phone is for sure the worst because you will have to ha hold this close to you. Tablet, laptop, monitor, all of that is an improvement. But we're living in the year 2020, actually 2021, and technology has come a long way. So previously using a TV as a monitor wasn't possible because of input lag, latency, all of that, it just wasn't possible. But nowadays, basically the same panel, the same LCD panels that you're using for smaller devices, for laptops, they're also now used in a large form factor for TVs. What differentiates a TV from a monitor is mostly just a tuner. So a TV without a tuner, tuner is also simply called a monitor and by now also the input lag is low the colors are great like all of that these android tvs are basically just super large smartphones and the bigger you go the further away you can move the thing back here i have my 42 inch 4k tv by samsung low latency game mode and stuff like that so definitely look out for the input lag but just for comparison when i'm i'm now around one and a half meters away from the thing and for the same size i would need to move my bring my phone this close to my face to get the same aspect like the same size and the bigger you go the further away you can move the thing you can also go for a beamer but these are still quite expensive especially 4k beamers and 4k is for sure recommended get yourself a big screen i will actually want mine to be even bigger 55 56 inches and above would be amazing then you can go yeah like probably one and a half meters up to two meters should be no problem in my case i'm usually away a uh, one meter away from my Thing. And besides, also besides saving your eyes, this will step up your productivity to the next level. You won't believe how just how epic it is to have a massive monitor. When you think about it, with a 4K TV at this size, it's basically the same. Oh, actually mine is 48 inches because I know it's the same as having four 24 inch screens basically have four of them in one just one tv so think about it many guys have a triple monitor setup and with this you will have a four monitor setup basically without seams no bezels whatsoever this is just amazing but i'm not using it as four screens because this would mean that i need to go a bit closer to see all of that no i enlarged the the fonts and all of that i'm just using it as two large portrait screens basically that's how i'm using it also for editing for music production for multimedia purposes it's crazy how much you can fit on this thing your workspace will improve in such a crazy way i can 100 percent recommend it and you won't be able to go back if you experience this massive productivity hack but anyways this is how to do it and uh, let me just check yeah in my next one you can check it out right here i will create an ad for my buddies at tech magnet for their company just for fun because i think this is an overlooked thing they are actually selling these huge monitors without a tuner when you don't have the tuner inside your TV. You will basically get text for having a tuner. It's crazy. But also that is another thing that is, again, as I said, in my opinion, 
This is quite overlooked. You can easily use this as a monitor. It's great. Anyways, that's it for this one. I guess I will see you in the next one because yeah, that's it. Smash the like button. <laughs> the way you will smash your eyes when you watch movies on your phone and all in all just using your phone for prolonged period of periods of time. Just to include this, VR is also a solution. But the thing that you can do right now is getting yourself a big TV. That's the best thing in my opinion that you can do for like the least amount of money. Bang the bell like crap to never miss life improvement videos and check the recent news on chrisvaro.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.